I'm dragging into my composition a texture of a wall that is perfectly square. So I can go to my effects and choose CC sphere, SPH, ERE sphere, and I drag it onto the layer. Immediately it will become a sphere, but uh, by default the settings will say that the radius is actually 200%. That's why it looks pixelated. I'm going to drag it back to 100% and make sure that uh, it keeps the 100% as a default value for the time being. Then I'm going to open the properties for rotation that by default come close. And I have three axes that I can work with, X, Y, and Z. When I rotate along the X, I'm rotating it uh, vertically, basically. And when I'm rotating uh, along the Y axis, it's horizontally. And when I'm rotating uh, along Z, it rotates facing us. It's ironical how Z rotation is actually the only available 2D rotation, whereas when you go to 3D for a layer, you actually get X and Y rotation. But it is just uh, for a matter of uh, academic. Uh, I'm going to animate now the X and Y rotation just by starting uh, the stopwatch in the effects control uh, panel, but then I tap the letter U on the keyboard in order to display the same two keyframes that I just created into my timeline. The value for the rotation is uh, 0 and 0 at this point. I'm going to drag my CTI all the way to the end of the composition. I'm going to set the X rotation to 45 degrees and the Y rotation to two full rotation, which is 360 times 2. So now when I play the video, this uh, sphere will rotate two full rotation, meaning 720 degrees uh, according to the Y axis and 45 degrees uh, along the X axis. You notice though that the first keyframe and the last keyframe differ. So if I want to loop them and I want to make sure there is a seamless loop, I have to bring my keyframe of 45 degrees X back to uh, five seconds. And at the end, I'm gonna reset again X to zero degrees. So you will see that the planet will spin on one side and uh, tilt backwards and then go back to the same uh, axis. If I want to make it smoother, I will select all the keyframes that I have in the timeline, right click keyframe assistant, and then finally easy ease to smoothen the animation. So now it will be much nicer and more natural movement. And uh, when it reaches the end, it uh, slowly starts again with the rotation. I can also change the shading using the shading properties of uh, uh, the effects uh, control for our CC sphere. We have plenty of uh, settings, in particular one that we can uh, look into is ambience that will increase the part of the sphere that you want uh, to see. Uh, also into light, there will be a property called light intensity. As you decrease light intensity, you will make the earth uh, less visible. You can also change the light height is one of my favorite properties because it will change uh, the projection of the shadow like it was on the moon and you will only make uh, a crescent or half a moon or a full moon. In order to make it more realistic, decrease the ambient light to uh, zero under the shading properties and then change the light height and this one will actually play like it was the moon and you can shift it from one side to the other.